Hey there, Aries. It's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. How is everybody doing? We're here to do your March reading, right? March-ish, right? Because, uh, you know, how arrogant would it be of me to assume that spirit is going to fit into a YouTube timeline, right? But for the sake of YouTube, we're doing a March reading for you, right? This may have already happened. You may be in the thick of it. It may not have happened for you yet. You very well may see yourself in this reading somewhere. And if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. This is not your reading though, okay? This is not your personal reading. This is a general reading for the collective of Aries, okay? The collective of Aries. What does that mean to you? See, everybody's astrological chart is different. We all have different timings and different planetary positions in our chart. These cards are set up and dictated by astrology, okay? Everybody's chart is different. Nobody has the exact same chart. Even identical twins can have a different chart if one twin is born into an ascending sign a little bit later than the first one, okay? So besides identical twins who were born like seconds apart and they have all of the same planetary placements, besides those special people, <laughs> um, everybody's chart is different, right? So the planetary placements in everybody's chart is different. Just for example, I'm Taurus, right? Uranus on the cusp of Aries, mind you. Um, Uranus is in Taurus, right? Uranus is like full force on me right now because Taurus is my sun sign. But say I had Taurus in in my, um, I don't know, my, my 11th house in my astrology chart, that means that that aspect of Taurus is affecting that house for me. Whereas the person sitting next to me could have Taurus in their um, fifth house, right? Now, don't ask me to explain all of that. I understand it, but I'm not qualified to, to try to educate you on that, okay? But they're divided into houses. Each little sector for every planet is divided into houses. If you have Taurus in your fifth house and the person sitting right next to you has Taurus in their eighth house, y'all are going to have a completely different chart and y'all are going to have a completely different journey, right? The only way to know your true journey is to have your cards read. So that being said, of course, if you want to reach me, deepthoughtswithdana.com, link in the box below. That being said, this cannot possibly be your story, okay? So don't make life-altering decisions based on my personal, my, my general tarot card readings or anybody else's general tarot card readings, okay? Because that's how it shakes down. That's how all of these general readings roll. Because you can see there's a thread that goes through the YouTube tarot card readings, right? Because of the planetary placements. And depending upon what your placements are, your journey is going to be completely different from somebody else's. All right, now that I'm pretty sure that y'all aren't going to go making life-altering decisions or hang on to anything that's being said in a general tarot card reading and planning your life around it, um, we can move forward and I can do a reading for you, feeling confident that y'all understand that this is for entertainment purposes only and the only way to know your real journey is to have your real cards read, okay? All right, so Aries. Uh, we're going to do this from start to finish, and I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread. It's been a minute since I've done a Celtic cross spread. Um, usually I do my signature Dana 15 card spread, but I'm, I'm just feeling a little different. Look, the Queen of Wands just popped out for you, Aries. I wonder what that's about. So let's jump into a Celtic cross spread. All right, let's jump into a Celtic cross spread. So bear with me for a second while I center myself and begin to channel, okay? Spirit, Source universal energy. I have the collective of Aries with me. What is it, Spirit, that Aries needs to know? The next major important energetic shift in Aries' life, Spirit, what is it that Aries needs, Aries needs to know? Um, what do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to, Spirit? Any messages at all that you want Aries to understand for the next energetic shift coming for them. Please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen in these cards. Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them to Aries as well. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle these cards three more times. I'm going to cut three times and I will pull 15 cards off the top. Please arrange yourself in the way 
that you need to be seen to bring the messages to Aries collectively that they need to understand. All right, let's cut one. That was so unfair. Y'all saw that in the camera, right? Let's go. One, two, three. Two, three. Bottom of the deck, the Fool Aries. Very nice. Very, very nice. You know what, Aries? I know I said I was going to do a Celtic cross because I was feeling all fancy and wanted to kind of flex my, my tarot muscles a little bit. But um, I'm feeling really led just to do a 15-card spread. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stick with my classic spread that I always do. I just feel like there's a message in here that I might miss if I try to do something differently. Okay, so here we go. Ha, look, first card out, death. Very nice. An ending, a change, a transformation. Wow! To the Prince of Cups. Um, very nice. Uh, the Prince of Cups is about being in touch with your emotion, being in touch with your intuitions, and being prepared to share your feelings with someone else. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. Spiritual poverty to the devil. Wow. We'll see who that is. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. A lost opportunity. The Four of Pentacles representing a um, little bit of a lockdown mode, right? A little, a little insecurity. The Six of Swords in reverse. Too much baggage, too much water under the bridge. Can't move on. Three of Pentacles in reverse in the center of your reading. A disregard for skills, lack of teamwork, lack of collaboration. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is either one-sided debt, selfishness, not giving and receiving. The Five of Swords in reverse. This is either a lot of past resentment or being open to some change. The Emperor in reverse. This is the card of Aries. This is domination, control, inflexibility. It's also about a need for self-discipline. The Moon in reverse. Wow, so many blockages, Aries. So the Moon in reverse. This is talking about either repressed emotions or the release of fear. Sometimes it's a secret. The Four of Swords in reverse. Contemplating in a defensive posture, what your next move is going to be. To the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, this is either financial setbacks or the, the feeling of an overinvestment. To the Hierophant in reverse, releasing some kind of personal belief system. Then we have Justice in reverse, an injustice, unfairness, a lack of accountability, and pulling extras. The Ace of Wands, some kind of inspired new beginning. To the Wheel of Fortune, some kind of turning point. Let's see what comes next. Oh, wow. Okay, we're just going to take these two and I'll explain them as we go, okay? The a little bit of extra ones that I have here is the King of Wands in reverse, the Chariot, Temperance, the Four of Wands, the World, the Prince of Pentacles in reverse, and the Two of Wands, okay? All right, let's see what all this is about, Aries. I'm excited. Let's see what this is about. All right, death and ending a change, a transformation to the star. I cannot make this up, right? This is renewal, hope, faith, purpose um, to you. So there's a transformation in the way that you feel about something, Aries, with the Prince of Cups right here, right? You are ending an old way of being and moving into a new way of being in hope of renewal um, in your life or in a situation uh, or a purpose, right? Spirit, tell me one more about this star right here. Tell me one more about this star. What's this star about? What is this star about for Aries? Mm. The King of Cups. Now it came out sideways, so I'm going to read it both ways. So this change that you're going through, Aries, this um, transformation that you're going through in your feelings, right, um, has to do with uh, first of all, with emotional volatility, right? N the removal of love. They're not being feelings, right? And what you're doing is turning it around and and sharing feelings, um, accepting the feelings that you have for someone or something. The Five of Pentacles in reverse, talking to us about um, spiritual poverty. Spiritual poverty, it could be talking about... Um, coming out of, of, of a financial bind, right? 
to the devil. Let's see. The devil is clarified by the seven of cups, options and choices. Hmm. Options and choices that led to the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Spirit, tell me about this Five of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, I see. So spiritual poverty because of the options. Because you made choices that weren't good for you. I see. I see. That created some kind of loss. Um and 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 the the imbalance in a partnership or a relationship of some sort and now with the page of pentacles um you either want to manifest something new or this is some kind of new offer um coming in to you the four of pentacles this is uh, feeling locked down this is um somebody who has if you look at this picture right he has four right he's okay with four he has enough right he has enough but if he moves in any way whatsoever, he's going to take the risk of losing the little bit of security he has in pursuit of even more security. So he's just kind of, he's just kind of, he has a little bit of control, a little bit of stability, a little bit of security. And this card is talking about if you make a move to get more are you going to lose what you already have? It's clarified by the Ace of Wands, which is an inspired new beginning in your life, to the moon in reverse, talking about some repressed emotions. These repressed emotions actually bridge this Six of Swords in reverse right here. This Six of Swords in reverse is too much water under the bridge, too much baggage and can't move on. And I think that's where your repressed emotions come from. Tell me about the moon in reverse a little bit more okay yep 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 you want to prioritize something in your life but you're having a lot of anxiety with the nine of swords because of the three of pentacles in the center of this reading here now mind you i'm going to go back and read this from the top again okay so don't get discouraged or lost i'm just working my way through this reading and we will go back and read it fluidly okay um, if you don't like all of this working through, somebody drop a timestamp when we actually go back and read from the top, okay? All right, so your fear and anxiety is because of the Three of Pentacles, the lack of teamwork, um, a disregard for skills, and it happens to be right underneath this Five of Pentacles right here, which could be spiritual poverty, even if it's financial, it's spiritual poverty, right? So sorrow and the page of wands comes in and says you want to change this you want to change this the six of pentacles in reverse to the five of swords what is this about right here what is this about the emperor you aries wanting to sit in the throne of your power an initiator right an initiator somebody that's full of integrity and true and right and proper Ah, to the Three of Pentacles, right? You, Aries, want to... The Emperor is the card of Aries. I don't know if I said that. Um, you, Aries, want to take this situation and turn it around. You want to take the initiative to achieve some kind of teamwork or collaboration. This Five of Swords is definitely going to be about being open to change. Yeah, look, so the emperor in reverse, right? This is, I do believe, the way that you were before this death card up here, right? Before this trans transformation. The emperor in reverse is not the good Aries. It's the evil twin Aries. It's the Aries that is um, a control freak. It's the Aries that is concerned with winning at all costs and getting whatever it is that they want by whatever means is necessary. This is not true and right and proper. This is somebody that is not integritous, okay? To the moon in reverse, talking about um, repressed emotions. But this emperor is clarified by the queen of wands in reverse. So what this tells me is that there 
was a power play, some kind of power play, some kind of struggle for control over a situation between you and someone else, okay? The Wheel of Fortune comes on top of this and says it is time for a turning point in this relationship, in this situation, to the Ten of Cups. It's time to bring harmony and happiness and values alignment back into the situation. Look to the Page of Swords and you're going to communicate. You're going to communicate to do this. The Moon in Reverse talks about releasing your fear, right? Releasing your fear because you have fear. You're in anxiety, a state of spiritual poverty, lack of teamwork, lack of collaboration. The Four of Swords in Reverse. This is mentally restless. This is a lack of progress. To the Nine of Pentacles in Reverse. Tell me what this Nine of Pentacles in Reverse is, in, is about. <laughs> the Fool. Okay, so an overinvestment to the Fool. A brand new beginning and a brand new journey. To the Hierophant in Reverse. Releasing some kind of belief system about the about an injustice with Justice in Reverse right here. Releasing some kind of thought pattern, some kind of belief that you had um, that you thought was an injustice to the Ace of Wands again that creates some kind of inspired new beginning in you or in the situation. It's general, you know. I'm sequestered to if, and, or but instead of who, what, where, when, why, and how. Yeah, injustice. Justice in reverse is clarified by the Five of Wands. Some kind of conflict. Some kind of conflict that caused an injustice. But you're being asked to release the beliefs that you, that you felt about this. Okay, look, this is what this injustice is. This is the belief system that you're being asked to reevaluate, right? So you've been going on this whole time in a state of spiritual poverty, in a state of anxiety, not having teamwork and collaboration or any kind of sharing with this person or situation that you had the conflict with right here with the emperor in reverse and the queen of wands in reverse. Whoever, whatever this is for you, this is the root right? Conflict between the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Emperor in reverse. Maybe some kind of power struggle, okay? Some kind of power struggle. Um, and you have believed a certain way this whole time. You've believed a certain way. But now you're being asked because you communicate with the Page of Swords. And I think some, some things are cleared up for you in this situation, Aries, that puts you on the journey of the fool. And you're releasing a thought pattern, a belief system about what this injustice really was. Five of Wands, conflict. Four of Cups, contemplating and reevaluating the whole situation. To the Five of Pentacles, about being left out in the cold or leaving someone out in the cold. The Queen of Pentacles, this is someone who used to hold title in your life but doesn't anymore. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse is this Queen of Wands in reverse right here. This is the person that you had the beef with, okay? The Ace of Swords in reverse says that there was never any conclusion, there was never any clarity um, about the situation, and now you do have clarity, and it's changing the way that you believe about things. Seven of Pentacles, you are reflecting and assessing on the new information that has come into you. Ace of Wands, inspired new beginnings can now be created right back there. It's what you wanted in the first place. It was the catalyst that caused you to take action. The wheel, it's a turning point in everybody's destiny, a turning point in everything. The King of Wands in reverse. What is this King of Wands in reverse about right here? What is this King of Wands in reverse about right here? Whoa. Yep, the King of Wands in reverse to the hangman. This is 
you, Ares, um, be representative of this emperor in reverse. It's the same energy. It's domination. It's control. It's arrogance. It's egocentric behavior. Okay. You are now reconsidering in the hangman energy, um, processing everything and coming out on the other side with a new perspective, right? Coming out on the other side with a new perspective about this entire situation. The chariot. Now you're going to take some action to temperance in reverse because you've had some self-healing. You've had some self-healing. The four of wands, beautiful foundation, structure, stability, a harmonious relationship is now on the forefront because you lived for so long not knowing the truth about a situation. <coughs> And now you have the truth of the situation and it changes everything for you. The world closing out the old cycle to the Prince of Pentacles in reverse, the old cycle that you were stuck in for so long. Closing out that cycle, starting a brand new cycle, a brand new turning point in your destiny, a brand new journey with the fool to the two of wands, into your future, at a crossroads, into your future, trying to decide what it is you should do and how it is you should go about this new brand new life that's ahead of you. The Queen of Swords, this is making decisions. It's making moves. It's making decisions. It's seeing things from a logical perspective to the Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. Aries, something happened here a long time ago. It doesn't have to be a long time ago. I feel a long time ago because of the Prince of Pentacles in reverse. But something happened here that um, you never had any closure on. You didn't have any clarity on. Ah, the chariot moving towards wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. So let's read it from the top. If somebody wants to drop a time stamp at uh, 22, 22 minutes, okay? Let's read it from the top. All right, Aries, this is what's going on. This is what's going on. So death, there's an ending, a change, a transformation to the Prince of Cups that allows you to be in touch with your emotions, in touch with your intuition, and prepared to share them with someone. There is hope, faith, purpose, and renewal with the star, star card and the King of Cups, right? Love, feelings, just, I mean, it's the king of emotions, right? Totally in control of your emotions, um, totally ready to move forward and share with someone else, period. At the end of that sentence, drop down, start a new paragraph. What's been going on? Well, the Five of Pentacles is what's going on. You have been in a state of spiritual poverty because some options, choices that you made were not done with integrity with this devil card right here. Some choices that you made, this is general, flip it if you need to flip it, okay? I'm just, like I said, I don't know who the hell I'm reading for here. If I was reading your cards, I could tell you who, what, where, when, why, and how, right? Here, I'm just like, kind of, sort of. So, somebody, Aries, made decisions that were not integritous. They had options, choices, decisions, and they chose the path that was not in their highest good. Okay. This caused a lost opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse in some kind of partnership with the Two of Cups in reverse. But now Aries or somebody else wants to manifest some kind of new beginning in this situation. The Four of Pentacles. You're not real sure though. You're a little, you're a little on lockdown mode. As a matter of fact, Aries, I do believe that this Page of Pentacles is somebody else sending you a message 
of of new beginnings of manifesting something with them right but this is obviously some kind of past situation okay so somebody's sending you a message you're in lockdown mode you're like i'm not so sure to the ace of wands that i want an inspired new beginning in this situation there's a lot of water under the bridge with the six of swords in reverse i have some repressed emotions with the moon in reverse and quite frankly the prioritization of all of this um leaves me in a state of anxiety right because there is a lack of teamwork and collaboration. There is a disregard for skills to the page of wands. But you know what? I'm a little excited. I'm, in, I'm a little enthusiastic about the potential of, of, of maybe, you know, burying the hatchet with this person or this situation. Six of Pentacles in reverse comes in and talks about... Um, um, not giving and receiving, which also tells me that maybe you were in some kind of family situation. Maybe you were living together, um, just for some of you, right? So not giving and receiving all of this time to the five of swords, um, possibly some resentment. So there's a lot of water under the bridge. There might be some resentment here. But you come in as the emperor. The emperor's taken the high road. The emperor realizes perhaps because obviously this is something important to you, right, Aries? Because you have death, the prince of cups, the star, and the king of cups, okay? You still have feelings for this situation. Little message comes into you about a new beginning, and you're just kind of mulling it over a little bit. Well, you come out of the mulling it over a little bit in the energy of the emperor to the three of pentacles. You're like, you know what? Hell yeah, I want some teamwork and some collaboration in this situation. Hell yeah, there might be a little bit of resentment. There's some water under the bridge. But you know what? I'm open to change because I'm the emperor and I'm about fairness and truth and justice and honor and integrity. And you know what? Let's talk about this situation because, you know, I just, it doesn't sit right with me the way that things ended in this particular situation let's just talk about it what are we talking about well we're talking about the emperor in reverse to the queen of wands in reverse this is a fight okay the emperor in reverse is about domination control inflexibility the queen of wands in reverse is about um anger right anger frustration um um, somebody that is, that is, is not willing to lay down, right? And neither is Aries. And I feel like there was some kind of power play right here between the two of you. Um, but there's definitely a fight here, right? Definitely a fight to the moon in reverse being, um, repressed emotions again, but we have the Wheel of Fortune coming on top of this. This is a turning point in this relationship, this situation. It's a turning point. The moon in reverse is releasing fear, right? Fear, the fear of whatever this is between the two of you or the bunch of you, right? To the Ten of Cups, um, this, this communication with this person, Aries, changes your destiny. And I know that sounds like profound, but it's true. The, 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 the getting to the bottom of things with this person changes your destiny. And it either changes your destiny into this relationship or it changes your destiny by closing out the ambiguity that was never resolved in the past. The Page of Swords. This is communication. This is the speaking of truth between the two of you. Now notice they're all pages, right? They're pages and aces. Aces are little beginnings, right? You got a page here. You have um, the, the ace here. You have um, a couple of twos, right? Little, right? You have the Page of Swords. Um, Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands, this is little communication. This is like cracking the shell, right? Just, 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 just getting in there just a little bit. Four of Swords in reverse talks to us about, um, 
lack of progress, right? To the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, a lack of progress. Will this be an overinvestment of my time and effort? And the Major Arcana Fool comes on top of it and says, hell no. Hell no. This is exactly where you're supposed to be. This is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Justice comes on top of this fool card and says that there is truth spoken and there is justice being brought to this situation. And now, now you can release this, this belief system that you've held on to all this time about this fight that happened between the two of you. You can release it because now you see things different. The injustice that you thought was is not. The five of wands, the conflict that caused all of this, you have a different perspective on it now. To the four of cups, contemplating and reevaluating the five of pentacles, why you were left out in the cold or why you left the queen of pentacles out in the cold. The ace of swords in reverse. There wasn't enough truth and now you have the truth. The seven of pentacles, you are reflecting and assessing on this whole situation and going, hmm, hmm. Ace of wands, inspired, passionate new beginning to the wheel of fortune again, a turning point in your destiny. The king of wands in reverse, talking about who you used to be, who they used to be, to the hangman, pausing, processing, coming out on the other side of all of this with a brand new perspective. Your perspective is the chariot, moving forward, going forward into a new beginning temperance in reverse, this reflection, this assessment, this truth has created healing in you, Aries, to the four of wands. And now there is structure, foundation, stability, and harmony being, being brought back into this relationship. The world, this is one cycle closing out and a brand new life cycle beginning for you. The world is also about self-realization as well. The Prince of Pentacles, where you have been stuck for so long, the Two of Wands, you now are looking into the future and, and making plans as to how you can carry this whole relationship with you. The Queen of Swords, truth is spoken, decisions are made to the Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, satisfaction, happiness is in, is, is in the air, Aries, to the Chariot again moving forward, taking charge, pushing into, into this brand new cycle of your life where there is an end to the way things were and an absolute transformation of this relationship or this situation. Feeling absolutely in touch with your emotions and in touch with your intuition and ready to share yourself with someone else. Someone that was important to you at one point, but there was a huge blow up. I believe a huge misunderstanding. And now you guys are patching it all back up again. The star, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal of the situation to the King of Cups feels, love, emotional security, emotional stability, all the beautiful things that come with being um, emotionally satisfied. And that is your reading, Aries. You know what? Should I do an extended? Should I? Should I? Should I do an extended? Um, what, would we, what would we talk about in an extended reading? I just don't think there's anything more to talk about, Aries. Um, if you guys want an extended reading, go ahead and drop a comment in the box below and let me know what you would like to know about in an extended reading. And I very well may do one. I just don't know. I just don't know uh, what to talk about. I mean, this is a beautiful spread. It goes from being in a state of spiritual poverty to being in a state of almost utter bliss. So, you know, this person is open to you. They're reaching out to you. You're reciprocating. Everything is getting all worked out between you. And um, 
it turns out beautiful. I mean, I don't really know what else to say. So like I said, drop me a comment in the box below. Let me know what you would like me to dive into. And perhaps I'll do an extended reading and just put a general message out to everybody with the link, okay? Or you can keep checking back to uh, Gumroad. I'm using Gumroad now. Not using Vimeo anymore. I'm really disappointed with Vimeo. I'm using Gumroad. There's link in the box to the Taurus reading. There's a link in the box to the Scorpio reading. There's a link in the box to the Pisces reading for extended readings. Um, and if you just want to maybe check back every now and then, we'll see if I can throw up an Aries extended reading once y'all tell me what you really want to know about. Okay. All right. Um, I actually want to know about this fight. That's what I want to know about. I'm going to ask right now, if y'all don't mind, it's only 34 minutes in. I'm going to ask right now what this is about because I'm really curious what this whole rigmarole right here is about. So everything that I said still stands. There's still, if y'all let me know what you want me to read about, I will do an extended reading. But for my own curiosity, um, I'm going to check this out right here, okay? So Spirit, tell me, burden and struggle with the Ten of Wands. Tell me what this beef is. Tell me what the fight is. Tell me what the power struggle is between the Queen of Wands in reverse and, and uh, the Emperor in reverse. What is the beef? What is the beef? Judgment in reverse. What is the beef here? What is the beef? Who has beef with what about what? I got the Emperor. Okay. What is the beef here, Spirit? What is happening? What is the root of this whole damn situation? What is the root of this whole situation? The Three of Swords. Oh, why, Spirit, though? Why? Why? Two of Cups in reverse. All right, we're getting somewhere. Spirit, why? Why is there? Why is there issue between these two? Spirit, why is there issue with the Emperor and the Queen of Wands? Why is there issue? Temptation. Diversionary tactics. Diversionary tactics to the Four of Cups. Contemplation, reevaluation, uh, being stubborn. Spiritual poverty. Oh, maybe it's money to the world in reverse was it money between you oh shit do i have a reading y'all let me see what time it is let me just see what time it is hold on hold on damn it um i don't have a clock oh i, I do i got my computer seriously hold on a second because i have a reading and it is 3.50. All right, Aries, I got to go. I got to go. I have a reading I have to jump on to. So um, anyway, I just want to uh, just want to just let me just finish this real quick. Ace of Swords to the Devil in Reverse. All right, so what I got here is um, is that uh, this whole situation is a burden and a struggle, but it's about to be accomplished. Judgment in Reverse to the Emperor. The Aries was the person who was ignoring the call to fix any of this. The Three of Swords, because of heartbreak in some kind of break up or imbalance in a partnership, um, the Seven of Cups is diversionary tactics to the Four of Cups. Aries was just plain outright stubborn, right? The Five of Pentacles in reverse is um, spiritual poverty to the World card, which has now been healed, right? To the Devil in reverse, releasing limiting beliefs to the Ace of Swords because of truth. I never did get to the bottom of it, but I gotta go, Aries. I did. I have a. Uh, I have a reading to do um, in I think California. So, all right, bye. Love y'all. Namaste.